lucky hand has been here and gone. CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1 Pistol Instruction Manual. Loading the gun. Always point in a safe direction while loading the gun. Zing into the gun and ensure that the magazine is secured. Set the fire mode lever onto the fire mode. Grasp the gun by the grip with one hand and the cocking handle located on the left side of the handguard with the other hand. S cock the slide backwards to the rearmost position and release it. The hammer is now cocked and a cartridge has been fed into the chamber. The gun is now ready to fire. If you are not going to fire immediately, lock the gun as described in the paragraph, locking the gun. Setting the fire mode. You can fire single shots by setting the fire mode lever into position 1. Locking the gun. Set the fire mode lever into the position 0. The trigger mechanism is now locked and it is not possible to pull the trigger. Reloading while firing. After the last cartridge has been pulled from the magazine and the slide remains to the rear, Remove the empty magazine and replace it with a loaded one. Pull the cocking handle backwards and release it, or press the slide release. The gun is loaded and ready to fire again. Unloading the gun. Point in a safe direction. Remove the magazine. Set the fire mode lever onto the fire mode. Pull the cocking handle into the rear position and make sure that the chamber is empty. By pushing the, co the cocking handle upwards, it is possible to fix in the slide to fix the slide in the rear position while another person can check whether the chamber is empty. Release the slide. Pull the trigger. Dry fire. Maintenance instructions. Stripping for cleaning. To clean, remove the trigger unit case and the slide together with the recoil spring. No further disassembly is needed for routine maintenance. Point in a safe direction. Remove the magazine. Set the fire mode lever onto the fire mode. Move the slide to the rear position with the aid of, cocky, of the cocking handle and retain it by pushing the handle upwards. The slide is now safely locked in the rear position. Grasp the pistol grip of the gun tightly in one hand. Push onto the front part of the trigger unit with the thumb of the other hand and press the outer part of the disassembly pin. Now extract the disassembly pin out of the other side to its, rearmost, to its outermost position. Then, grasp the trigger unit case at the magazine housing and remove it by pulling in a backward and downward motion. Move the slide slightly backwards with the thumb and pull it downwards. Now it is possible to remove the slide together with the recoil spring. Clean the firearm. Clean the firearm after every use if it gets wet immediately after shooting, at least once a year in temperate climates, as often as twice a month in tropical or extreme climates. Cleaning the barrel and the chamber. If the firearm has not been fired, or if only a few cartridges have been fired, clean the barrel and chamber by a clean patch attached to the cleaning rod. Repeat the cleaning, changing patches, until the last patch is clean. If the barrel is very dirty, apply a gun cleaning solution with the aid of a cleaning brush. Let the solvent act for about 10 minutes. This time may vary depending on the solvent agent being used. Then scrub out the barrel thoroughly. Subsequently, Dry the barrel and chamber with a clean patch and check that all powder residue or fouling has been removed. If necessary, repeat this procedure. The cleaning rod and the brush must be inserted into the barrel from the chamber to prevent wear or damage to the muzzle. Pull the brush all the way through the barrel before reversing the movement. If you try to change the direction of pulling, the brush would get stuck in the barrel. Cleaning of other parts. The other parts of the firearm can be cleaned with a dry cloth, old toothbrush, copper bristle brush, or a wooden scraper. Preserving oil can be used for proper cleaning. Never use the agent designed for barrel cleaning. These solutions can remain in the joints, causing corrosion after some time. Preservation of the firearm. When the barrel, chamber, and all accessible parts are clean and dry, wipe these parts with a cloth soaked in gun oil, or apply an oil in spray form. Furthermore, it is necessary to apply the oil on the lubricating points. Remove all excess oil. 
Before shooting, always pull through the barrel with a dry patch. <laughs> 